Making the right decisions for your business hinges on gaining actionable insights from your data. The classic business intelligence scenario where tools of the trade can make or break your success. And to discover those insights, it all starts with choosing the right BI tool. Whether you're a data analyst crunching numbers or a decision maker steering the ship, you know the value of a powerful BI tool. So here at Centurus, we set out on a mission to help you choose the right tool for your unique enterprise environment. And we've done that with the BI comparison chart, which you can download for free from the link in the description below. The comparison chart focuses on three industry leading BI tools, Power BI, Tableau, and Cognos. And it compares them side by side across 50 features in the following categories. First, we have data sources and data connectivity, metadata modeling and querying, reporting and dashboarding, integrations and advanced features, platform and ecosystem, and lastly, administration, governance, and security. These categories are then broken down into the 50 features we've identified as essential to help make your decision. And each feature follows a color coding key that grades each tool. We even have links to external resources and Centurus content that takes a deeper dive into particular features. So let's take a look at a couple of examples and I can show you how the BI comparison chart works. So here we have our BI comparison chart. And if we scroll through our table of contents and navigate to metadata modeling and querying, where we start to examine how each of these tools perform when it comes to downstream data preparation and data modeling, you'll see that this first feature, data preparation, is actually a really good example of what we've set out to do with the BI comparison chart. And at a glance, you can see that Power BI is actually excellent when it comes to data preparation. And that's all due to Power Query. And if you've worked with Power Query, you know just how powerful this tool is when it comes to handling complex data transformations. Tableau, on the other hand, is good when it comes to data preparation, but Tableau Prep Builder just doesn't quite stack up to Power Query. And Cognos is just moderate when it comes to data preparation because data modules don't really have that downstream data preparation, data transformation functionality that Power Query or Tableau Prep Builder do. We also have some of the external resources that I mentioned earlier. So from the BI comparison chart, we can actually go directly to the Microsoft website and learn more about Power Query and also the Tableau website to learn more about Tableau Prep Builder. So let's take a look at another example. And I'm primarily a report developer. So the reporting and dashboarding section is where I would be most interested. And if we start to scroll through the features here, we get to mapping features. And mapping is one of those features that can be hit or miss depending on the tool you're using. And right away again, we can see that Power BI is just good when it comes to mapping features. The out of the box maps aren't great, but you do have access to third party maps. Tableau is excellent because of its enhanced mapping capabilities. And Cognos is also excellent because of its Mapbox integrations. And again, we have some links to some external resources. And this time it's to some Centurus content that relates back to Tableau maps. We have a webinar, a deep dive on Tableau maps, and also a blog post, Tableau maps from glum to glam. So that wraps up a quick introduction that just scratches the surface about our BI comparison chart. If you want access to the full chart and all the feature comparisons, follow the link in the description below. If you like this content, drop us a comment in the video or shoot us an email at info at centurus.com if you have any questions for us. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date when we post new content. We'll see you on the next one.